Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your Apex tutorial series. This video, we're gonna be talking about how to get started with the autonomous database. Essentially, what I want you to do is search autonomous database and find, for example, this page here, which is all about what an autonomous database is. So here you can get a little bit more information about what I was talking about in the previous video. And if you want some more juicy details, you can watch the video or click any of these links and hear a little bit more. But what I want to show you guys is how to get the free trial. So fortunately on this page, we can easily just click free cloud trial, and that's going to take us to the page we need to get started. Before we click this, there's one other page I wanted to show you guys, and that is this right here. Here we can get a much more in-depth view of the autonomous database. So in here we have more information about the available workloads. For example, I said we'll probably do transactional processing, but you can get a little bit more info about data warehousing here as well. And scrolling down, you can see some about the CPU scaling, the storage scaling, as well as stuff about the security, blah, 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 you know, all that good stuff that I'm not really gonna cover a whole lot. We're just gonna go get started because that's what I really wanna do. If you want all that extra information, by all means, go do that. All right, so with the free trial here, you just click this create a free account. You can get a 30 day free trial up to $300 credits, which should be more than enough for what we need. So click create a free account <laughs> account, and you're gonna put in some information here, give your email and et cetera. I don't know, you can just create an account name. I'm just gonna go with Caleb YouTube. And I'm gonna go for personal use and I'm gonna select North America and Ashburn's fine for me. All right, I'm gonna fill the rest of this info out. All right, next thing you gotta do is add a credit card, but fortunately you're not gonna be charged unless you upgrade your account. So it's not gonna be one of those things like where you subscribe and then like 30 days later, you're like, oh crap, they just charged me like $6 million because I forgot to cancel. That's not gonna be happening on you. So add your credit card here. All right, once you're done, you should get to a page something like this. Once you got that, just check your email, you get some further instructions. So eventually you'll get that email and you'll be able to sign in with the username and password that is inside that email. Your username is going to be your email and then the password is whatever they assign to you. And then go ahead, assign a new password and eventually you'll get to this page, which is the destination we are looking for. So congratulations, you got through the gate. Now we can start creating stuff and having some fun. So what you're gonna do is over on the left panel, I'm gonna X out all this other junk so we're not gonna need any of it. Over here on the left panel, go into autonomous transaction processing. You could also do data warehousing if you're more interested in the analytical stuff. We're interested in CRUD, so we're gonna go with this. And we're going to create an autonomous database. So yeah, pretty much the defaults are fine. You can customize if you like. The only thing you need to do is go in here and set a password. So this is the admin credentials. You want to take note, and we're gonna need these later. And then license included and then create autonomous database. Now, if you need some more substance, some more juice, go up here, change that processing limit. Uh, this is the, the base, but with the possibility of it being increased up to three times by checking this auto scaling. So if that's something you think you might need if you're trying to do some serious processing, go ahead and do that. But for now, I'm gonna keep the basics because we're really not doing a whole lot and I just wanna make sure I don't go over with my credits. So we're gonna keep the basics and create that autonomous database. So when we get to this page, you see it's provisioning. You're going to need to wait a little bit. So why don't you go play some Fortnite or just relax? Or maybe instead of Fortnite, you could play Apex. <laughs> you see what I did there? Cause, cause you know, Apex is a game and we're also on Oracle Apex. <laughs> Man, that was pretty good. All right, I'll be back, gotta let this wait. Awesome, it just finished, so what we can do now is we can look at the extra capabilities, specifically Apex and SQL Developer. So what to find this, you know, it, it's a little bit hidden, unfortunately, so what we gotta do is go to the Service Console, and then over here, inside of Development, we can get Apex and SQL Developer Web. That's the end of this video. We got you set up. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about what you need to do to start using these tools inside of the autonomous database. So there's a little bit more you gotta do before you start creating stuff because you're gonna have to go in here, create a workspace. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the SQL Developer Web as well. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Hopefully that was a good introduction. You should be good to go. You've got your cloud account and you can start provisioning junk and everything like that. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.